Loading creatine for just seven days can rapidly increase muscle growth, strength, and athletic performance, amongst many other changes within your body. All of these benefits can be achieved by way of a natural supplement that has been proven to be very safe and effective after decades of research. All of our muscles already contain creatine since our bodies naturally produce about one gram of creatine per day and it's present in many high protein foods such as meat, chicken, and fish. With that said, supplementation is typically needed to maximize creatine stores within the muscles. But even with supplementation, it generally takes a lot longer than just seven days, unless you do what's known as a loading phase. So in this video, we're gonna take a journey inside the body to discover exactly what will happen step by step as you saturate your muscles with creatine all within just one week. First, understand the way that creatine fuels our muscles and provides bursts of energy for high intensity activities like sprinting, lifting weights, or boxing is largely tied to a molecule known as ATP, which is short for adenosine triphosphate. ATP provides energy to our cells, but it's quickly depleted during strenuous activity. So that's where creatine comes into play. Your body stores phosphocreatine within your muscle cells as a reserve energy source. When you go through intense physical work like bench pressing or hitting a heavy bag, for example, your muscle cells use up one of the three phosphocreatine molecules found within adenosine triphosphate to generate energy, turning it into adenosine diphosphate also known as ADP. It's at this point that the phosphocreatine that's stored in your muscle cells can quickly be used to turn ADP back into the usable form ATP. This fast ATP replenishment allows your muscles to continue working at peak efficiency even after the initial ATP stores get exhausted. So essentially the creatine stored within your muscles is like having a supply of energy in reserve that activates when you need it most, delaying fatigue and exhaustion while providing energy for explosive movements. The best part is that by consuming the right dosage of creatine, you can maximize your muscles creatine stores within just seven days so that you're prepared for peak performance and loading for this short length of time can also lead to visible improvements in muscle size and body composition. Usually it's recommended to take 20 to 25 grams of creatine per day for those first seven days. There are also more exact recommendations that are based on your body weight. To calculate those exact recommendations, you can multiply your weight in kilograms by 0.3, or you can simply stick to the 20 to 25 grams per day guideline to keep it easy. This may sound like a lot, but during this initial period, your muscle cells will act like sponges absorbing and storing the majority of all that extra creatine. So think of your muscle cells like empty containers that'll fill up when you add additional creatine. This creatine increases your muscles energy reservoir so they're better prepared to provide quick bursts of energy. The amount of creatine in your muscle cells will gradually rise as the loading days go on. By the end of the seventh day of the loading phase, your muscles should be completely saturated with creatine, increasing strength, power, and endurance in a relatively short amount of time. During those seven days, creatine will also gradually draw water into your muscle cells, resulting in increased cellular hydration. This happens automatically because your body will try to maintain your cells' delicate equilibrium. Your muscles store creatine and water together. To keep that balance, your cells will naturally retain more water as you increase your creatine intake. This can lead to an increase in muscle volume, which can contribute to an improvement in muscular appearance. In other words, as creatine draws water into your muscles, they'll look bigger. This is often referred to as a pumped or fuller look. With that said, it's important to realize that this effect is primarily due to increased water retention rather than actual muscle growth within just seven short days. But as long as you keep your creatine stores maximized, which I'll go over how to do in a second, that increased cellular hydration can actually assist with muscle growth over time by placing pressure against muscle cell membranes and cytoskeletons, which gets perceived as a threat to your muscle cells integrity, triggering anabolic signaling and boosting protein turnover rate. Muscle growth occurs during a positive protein turnover rate, or in other words, when protein synthesis exceeds protein breakdown, our muscles are more likely to grow. That's why increased cellular hydration can be one of the reasons that creatine supplementation stimulates muscle hypertrophy. In either case, even without considering the increased water retention, after just seven days of loading, your muscles will be more primed for growth in other ways. This is likely due to the fact that you'll have more energy to lift more weight and progressively overload your workouts. This is why research shows supplementing with creatine can benefit the muscle cross-sectional area for many different kinds of people, ranging from elite athletes to inactive sedentary people and even the elderly. 
Research also shows that saturating your muscles with creatine can even influence bone mineral density and bone formation markers, which can be especially beneficial for people that are at a higher risk of osteoporosis or recovering from an injury. Another thing that's likely to happen as your muscles become saturated with creatine during those seven days is you'll experience faster recovery from your workouts. This is tied to the boost in protein synthesis rates that creatine can provide. A more favorable protein synthesis rate can help your muscles repair the microscopic tears faster, allowing you to train hard again sooner. Now, a potential drawback for some athletes that want to quickly load with creatine for improved performance is that during the loading phase, you're likely to experience an increase in body weight due to the enhanced water retention within your muscle cells. So to be fully clear, this increase in weight is not at all the same as gaining body fat, but that still can be a problem for certain athletes like wrestlers, for example, that have to maintain a certain weight. Luckily, the increase in weight is usually just a few pounds. It's also usually temporary and generally decreases after the seven day loading phase. But if you continue taking creatine, your weight can remain elevated. For most people that aren't athletes that need to weigh in for a competition, increased body weight shouldn't be much of a concern and you should continue taking five grams of creatine per day after the seven days as opposed to the 20 to 25 grams that you were taking every day while loading. And you should do this to keep your muscle creatine stores fully saturated over a longer length of time. Five grams is actually the regular dose of creatine, but taking this amount takes a few extra weeks to achieve the same degree of saturation that the loading phase achieves in just seven days. This means you might not experience the same rapid boost in performance that loading can offer during those first few weeks of regular usage. When you load for those seven days, your muscles quickly achieve their highest level of creatine saturation, greatly enhancing their capacity to produce energy at a very fast pace. On the other hand, consistent use causes your muscles to gradually ascend towards full saturation over time. Whether you take a higher dose of 20 to 25 grams of creatine per day to speed up the process, or you just boost muscle creatine concentration more slowly by taking five grams per day, within a month, both methods lead to improved performance and muscle gains. Since you can't exceed the maximum amount of creatine that your muscles can store, the seven day load just offers the advantage of getting there quicker. Now, another often overlooked effect that'll happen inside your body throughout these seven days has to do with the effects that creatine has on your brain and cognitive abilities. You see, your brain needs a steady flow of energy to operate properly, and ATP, the same energy source that fuels your muscles, is also essential for brain function. As you already know, creatine aids in the resynthesis of ATP within our muscles, and it turns out that the brain also possesses similar ATP regeneration abilities. So some of the creatine you consume actually enters your brain cells after crossing the blood-brain barrier. That creatine assists with ATP regeneration once inside the brain cells, providing the energy needed for various cognitive functions. This means that tasks that require quick thinking, mental clarity, and sustained focus can be indirectly supported by supplementing with creatine. This can provide an advantage for tasks like studying, creative brainstorming, or simply when performing tasks that require deep focus. That's why research shows that people who supplement with creatine have improved brain function. In fact, the lead researcher on a study conducted by the University of Sydney in Australia concluded that creatine supplementation gave a significant measurable boost to brain power. But keep in mind, loading with creatine for seven days might not be all sunshine and rainbows. For example, a very common worry when taking creatine, especially in high dosages, is if it can lead to an increase in DHT, which is associated with hair loss. DHT is created from the conversion of testosterone. So if creatine increases testosterone, that can lead to more testosterone being converted into DHT, and that can lead to hair loss. But many studies have tested creatine's effect on testosterone, and only a small handful of them found a significant increase when 20 grams of creatine was being taken per day over the course of a week, which is exactly what a loading phase entails. However, the majority of the studies found no effect of creatine on testosterone, especially when taken at a rate of five grams per day. During the loading phase, some people may also experience other side effects as well, such as cramping, nausea, stomach pain, and even diarrhea. These side effects can be due to things like inadequate hydration, a sudden rise in creatine levels, or simply individual sensitivity. To reduce the risk of these side effects, staying well hydrated is vital, especially while you're loading. The precise amount of water you should drink depends on factors like your body weight, your activity levels, and the climate where you live. 
However, a general rule of thumb is to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water or about 64 to 80 ounces of water each day. In either case, if you have an upset stomach while loading, remember that you can achieve the same results over a longer length of time by starting with a lesser dose of just 5 grams per day. For most people, these side effects will also subside as their bodies get used to taking creatine in general. But with the heightened risk of side effects, you may be wondering if loading for 7 days is even worth it at all. Ultimately, it comes down to your preferences, goals, and how your body reacts. The loading phase may be useful if you're looking for a quick boost in performance or have an event coming up around the corner. On the other hand, if you prefer a slower and more gentle approach with potentially fewer side effects, starting with a regular 5 gram daily dose might suit you much better. So that should give you a very good idea of what happens inside your body when you load creatine for 7 days. If you want to get more into the details of taking creatine regularly without loading, I'll link up a video in the description below and at the end of this video. That video will help you figure out how much creatine to take, when you should take it, and it'll answer all the questions you have about how to supplement with creatine. Also, I've said this in many videos before and I'll say it again. Even though creatine is like a silver bullet in the world of natural muscle building supplements, it's not going to replace consistently doing the right thing with your diet and workout plan. So if you want any extra help with your diet or workout plan, try my free 6 week shred. You'll get a 42 day workout plan, a personalized diet plan based on your preferences, and a coach to help guide you and adjust your program whenever necessary. To find out more, you can click the link in the description below or you can head straight on over to the website at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.